She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Most of you are aware that Kenya Moore will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 16. As far as in the future, we don't know, okay? Kenya did post this statement. I did a long video, a little over 30 minutes. So if you missed that video, please click the very first link in the description below to watch that video but before this statement i did post that kenya Mo will not be returning to the real housewives of atlanta and it was her choice she wasn't suspended or nor fired someone allegedly threatened her the newbie said i have a gun for b words like you during another scene and she felt like bravo did not protect her as you can see from the caption the statement that she released on the screen she also confirmed that she did not commit revenge p word you can read that on the screen i'm not reading it because i've already covered everything in the previous video that i'm referring to i do want to get to the portia williams content so let's go ahead and get to it well most of you are aware that once apollo lied became apollo and his ex-wife facial parks storyline they went on a tour <laughs> interview tour and in one of those interviews you all remember Portia Williams said this I just feel like you know even though you may not be married it's just some things are just common sense of how to behave around a married couple and for me I don't even like to stand and look someone's husband eye to eye and carry on more than a three minute conversation so when she, we go to exchange telephone numbers, like I was telling somebody the other day, every type of communication that you have with this couple needs to go through the wife. Like, and you should know that at some point in your life. And if you overstep that boundary, then your intentions were wrong from the beginning. And then we fast forward to how Portia went against everything she said in that video and was actually dating the man when he was married. And I'm not just saying married as in legally married. When they were together, no statements being released, no divorce being filed. They were already in a relationship and allegedly the both of them were cheating. Okay. And we know the history. We know the story. So let's move on. And then Portia came back this season excited to show off her lavish lifestyle with her husband and her happily ever after. Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gavadia is in the building. <laughs> See ya. Well, I guess Portia Williams is coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta because well, Portia Gavadia filed for divorce, child, and we don't even know if that's truly her real name because you all know I've been reporting about it that the man re-entered this country after being deported due to his criminal past under a fake name and fake identity. After Portia Williams happily ever after came crumbling down, she decided to embrace, you know, whatever people were talking about or had to say about her. Now, of course, Portia was joking, but people that joke too much like that, they end up doing the exact same thing. So now when Portia jokes like that, people take it seriously because it actually happened. For example, making comments like this towards one of the newbies' husbands. Um, then also, who else do we have? Um, there's a new girl named Ange and Angela, Angela Oakley. Um, now, I don't know Angela, but I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. When people question Angela and tell her Portia talking about your man, talking about I heard your husband is everything, and ask her if she was Team Simon or Portia, 
of course she's going to say Portia like I said in the previous video I did this is a woman she's going to be working with I don't want to make it awkward saying team her husband soon to be ex-husband I don't even know him so she was like you know what just keep it respect for professional team Portia well it looks like she's not team Portia anymore and vice versa because uh, Angela and Portia allegedly unfollow each other. Keep in mind that it takes seconds to refollow someone. At one point, not only was Portia not following Kenya Moore, they were blocked from seeing each other content. So if you went and check and Portia is back following her, then hey, they probably made up. But during this video, they were no longer following each other. So who knows, Chad? Because Angela could have been like, girl, I heard you say my husband is everything. What was that about? Who knows? But not only did Portia unfollow her, she's not following Portia anymore. The rest of the girls followed, okay? And, you know, the one who accused Kenya and is currently spreading things, that one, she unfollowed Angela as well. And the other newbie, unfollowed angela because angela is still team kenya okay when kenya posted her announcement angela left some heart emojis on her page when kenya more hopped on instagram live angela was also in the comment section leaving comments and kenya said this about her hey angela oakley 34 love you girl <laughs> and angela was also in the back of kenya when she was cutting her ribbons with portia and the rest of the ladies so if the other lady is going around and saying oh kenya moore committed revenge p and whatever other rumors has been spread allegedly and angela is still supporting kenya and it's like girl you're not for me because why are you still supporting her and this is where i gave bravo the side eye because angela is a newbie and angela is a woman first and she doesn't know Kenya personally like that. They were getting to know each other. Okay. So there's no way this newbie is going to put her career on the line to support a woman that she was getting to know that committed revenge P and was in the wrong that will still be leaving comments after her departure from the show and will be standing for her with her and behind her during all of this when she was actually at the event. Possibly saw what happened. I'm saying possibly because even though they are working and filming, sometimes the event is over. Someone says, okay, well, congratulations, Kenya, I'm leaving. And then they left and the mess happened. So that's why I'm saying probably. Regardless of who you support and who I support, I'm a woman first. So if a woman did something terrible to another woman, I'm going to call you out because I'm a woman first. And that's the reason why I keep saying, bravo, where's your statement? that Kenya Moore did this. Where's the proof that Kenya Moore did this? I'm not saying post revenge P, of course, you don't wanna get arrested and get in trouble too, but where are the moment where, okay, Kenya did this, let's go ahead and blur out what was on the board, but as you can see, this is the moment it happened. Oh, but we can see everything else before the new season to show Kenya more in this light, but we can't see the part where she did this. That's the part that's being saved for the show, if they even are allowed or get to even show it. And I'm not saying, of course, on TV, they're gonna show it, they're gonna blur certain things out if this actually happened, but there's no official statement. Kenya said she didn't do it. There's nothing for us who were not there to stand on. Like I said, the audio I heard those very words and things have been said on the show before to other people that provoked Kenya and she clapped back. So to me, it was like nothing to see here. Okay, were it nice to hear? No, but did she clap back unprovoked? Absolutely not. But the audio is not grounds for someone to be suspended or fired. So like I said, we shall see. I would absolutely not be watching the show without Kenya Moore. But as story develop, I'm sure clips will be going up and down the timeline and tweets and different things. And then once we get there, we'll talk about it. See, Angela is a beautiful woman. And Angela is a wife. And she and Kenya got along just fine. And another narrative that's going around. Angela did not come for Kenya. So Kenya have absolutely no reason to go after Angela and if Angela and Kenya did have a moment but they were able to talk like adults grown women and resolve it then there you go 
You cannot expect, however, to come for someone, provoke someone, don't expect a reaction. So with all of the following and unfollowing situation going around, Angela posted this right here in her Instagram story. All of this, someone tweeted this. Wait, why nobody clocked Angela on follow Portia and Portia follow Brit now? Okay, and this is where you already know the conspiracy theory starts running wild by people who were in my DMs. What if Portia came back on this show, smiling with Kenya, and befriended Kenya so publicly it can look like, no, I was on Kenya's side. I love Kenya now. I was supporting her. This wasn't a setup. I have nothing to do with this. And this was a setup all along. I'm like, oh, Lord, here y'all go. But all jokes aside, people were upset because they're like, okay, you and Kenya have this new fun friendship. When she went on Instagram Live, you were in the comments, and she said this about you. Portia, <laughs> why y'all saying 100000 <laughs> Hey, Portia. <laughs> By the way, Portia, I'm so happy at our burgeoning friendship. Like, girl, you, you are doing your thing, and I love, 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 love getting to know you on this level. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So, Portia, thank you for your support. Under Kenya departure statement, Portia wrote, Portia wrote, a beautification with your princess is exactly what's needed with some hearts emojis. So people were like, what if publicly Portia is showing all of this support, but behind the scenes, she was working behind the scenes to get rid of Kenya because she always wanted that spot all to herself. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, here y'all go. Regardless of whatever it is, Kenya wrote in her statement, my heart is full and my conscience is clean. And because of that, she will continue to be blessed. Because even though Bravo have gone above and beyond to make her their villain, every single time that villain was supposed to show up, the real Kenya showed up. As a real villain would have been all over social media and in every single interview, letting Portia Williams have it with the way how she got with Simon. Portia did interviews about Kenya. However, it was based on a lie because she was never with that man like that. And then projecting the insecurities onto Kenya. Every time that villain is to show up, she didn't, okay? She's shown Portia nothing but grace in this moment. Everybody wanted Kenya to come for Portia and let Portia feel it. Basically kick Portia while she's down and Kenya did not. She continued to show Portia grace. And most of you remembered what Sheree said about Kenya X who busted her garage windows. He had physically assaulted Kenya. Kenya deserved it because she provoked people just for Sheree, ex-husband, to say this on national television. That was the moment if Kenya was this villain, she was going to say, you know what, what he said was messed up. But that's what you get for saying what you said to me. But she didn't. Instead, she put the differences aside. She got up and hugged Sheree and was there for Sheree. Sonia Husband was aggressive towards Kenya and Sheree, but he had a lot of smoke for Kenya. And Sheree once again joined a conversation with Sonia talking about Kenya needs to be careful calling black men aggressive. And Kenya said, I don't care if he's white, blue, pink, purple, whatever. If a man is aggressive, a man is aggressive and it has nothing to do with race. She seen she pulled the same thing in Miami exactly against Kenya again. So Sheree was running around with fake storylines booze. She always found a time to shade Kenya, not having a man next to her and all of that. But who did she call when she wanted a fake cry of a Tyrone that she knew wasn't coming, but she still went to Philly anyways for her storyline? Kenya. That was Kenya villain moment to be like, girl, Sheree called me and I sent her divorce. Like, I don't care that she was fake crying in the cold, pretending to wait for Tyrone when she knew that he wasn't coming and she only went over there for her storyline. I don't care. But Kenya answered the phone and play along anyways, okay? So I'm not saying Kenya more is a scent and that she didn't give these girls exactly what they gave to her. I'm just saying that the villain that they desperately try to make her as they are trying now, 
it didn't work and it's not going to work now because with a heart like hers she will continue to do great things and win and i cannot wait for kenya next chapter and as far as the whole portia williams conspiracy theory i'm just laughing at it because i'm like regardless kenya was going to be cool with portia regardless and what was going to happen was going to happen so yeah i don't feeding the things like that i just find it funny and i was just reporting that you know after everything that you know has happened uh push is now following the girl but hey you know they have the female show together so what is she supposed to do right everyone have to get along for the sake of the show so let Portia go ahead and do her thing um to me nothing to see here and, and kenya moore will be just fine i'm wishing all of you well and take care we got kenya in brooklyn on vacation check y'all out is that a Brooklyn Bridge behind you? <laughs> Wait, mommy. I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're where I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.